Certainly one of five men's well, five boys, early superstars. Born in England in 1920, Jean's family moved to Canada when she was just four years old, and they settled in New Toronto. Jean married her husband Harold in 1941, and we are pleased to have her daughter Diane in attendance here tonight. Bowling centers were plentiful in the New Toronto area, and Jean, using her athletic ability, took to five-pin bowling with ease. Jo Jean joined the local bowling league, and on this team, became a league champion. From the left, some names from the past, Laura Harrison, Betty DeCare Sr., Jean, and second from the end is Betty DeCare Jr. Sponsored by a local flower shop, Rias Flowers, a business that still exists. This team was so successful that they advanced to become a major influence in the Toronto City Major League. In a span of less than 10 years, Jean bowled not one, but two perfect games. The first was in 1965 at Bowl Away Lanes in Toronto, and a second at Don Mills Bowl in 1968, just three years later. And both games were recognized with a plaque by the Ontario Five Pin Bowlers Association and the Bowling Proprietors Association of Ontario. Jean also bowled in the first O'Connor Open that, was, that featured a ladies division. In 1959, this group has Lou Wilmot and Mark Bentner at the scores line. From the left, you can see Doris, uh, Doris Luke, Jean in the middle there, and on the right, of course, Millie Evans. Jean actually bowled in the Provincial Open in London and North Bay, as the event was run by the proprietors. And that was in 1963 and 64. In 1965, when the bowlers took over the Open, Jean bowled seven more times and was a provincial champion on two occasions. She qualified through York West in 1966. From the top left is the coach John Gibson, Rennie Phillips, Audrey Young, Stella Martinson, Jean, Dorothy Breckles, who ended up, I think, in the Borla Lakes, and Betty DeCare Jr. Jean bowled in Ottawa in 1967. And from the left are Betty DeCare Jr., Betty DeCare Sr. Read your books if you don't understand the junior and the senior. Jean, Leslie Tattersdale, Audrey Young, and Mark Holmes. This 1970 team was victorious in Peterborough. From the left are Edna Berry, Coach Jim Ritchie, Nan Stone, Mark Holmes, Julia Conti, Jean, and Betty DeCare Jr. However, due to the controversy over the elimination of the counterpin, there wasn't a national final that year. This 1972 team was victorious provincially and bowled nationally in Saskatoon. From the left are Betty DeCare Sr., Julia Conti, Coach Jim Ritchie, Audrey Young, and Mark Holmes. Jean is seated at the left, and Sue Marshman is on the right. In addition, this championship team also received provincial citations from Premier Bill Davis. With the beginning of the Master Bowlers Association in 1964, Jean was an automatic entry, and she didn't disappoint. In a short seven-year career, Jean won four events, including two in that first year, and the prestigious year-end tournament in 1970. And this shot here, of course, is their lovely powder blue uniforms. Jean is on the right, Betty DeCare. Uh, junior is on the left, and Senior is in the center. This 1970 win in the Masters also qualified Jean to bowl in the first annual British Columbia Festival of Sports. Bowling in Vernon, BC, Jean was victorious, receiving this certificate signed on the bottom by tournament chairman Sid Manning. While a knee injury curtailed Jean's career in the 70s, she was selected as number 63 on the top 90 list as voted in the year 2000. This vote, of course, was 25 years after her retirement, and it's obviously a remarkable achievement. Jean was a dominant player in her short career. Her husband, Harold, was referred to as the bowling widow, as Jean bowled so much. 
Merrill passed away in 2003 and Gene lived till 2009. A true legend in our sport, Gene Kanaf.